Right now we're in the impound lot with the van that detectives believe hit Erica Baker. It's in terrible condition. You could tell that Father Time has not done this car well. You look here, there's a lot of damage, rusting, a dent uh, that was believed to be part of another incident not related to the Baker case. You see the tires here, they're completely flat, the rims rusted. The car is a baby blue color, but it's not believed that this was the original color. There's actually paint peeling back here, which reveals more of like a sea foam green. As you walk around the vehicle, you definitely get this like eerie feeling that something happened here. And when you open it up, it's like a walk back in time. You look inside, there's still air fresheners hanging, presumably been in, here, been in here more than two decades. You could tell that over time that as detectives have made their way through this vehicle, certain elements have been removed. You could tell the uh, radio has been taken out, the center console has been jostled around so that you can get a better look behind it in the inner workings of the vehicle. The seats are torn to shreds either through time or uh, detective work. You look into the back seat, uh, the seat is completely torn up there. And most of all, you just get kind of this weird vibe when you stand in here and look around, realizing that this van really is a key character in the case of Erica Baker. I'm gonna walk around to the other side now. You walk around the front here, again, the hood completely rusted. This is, rem I'm trying to see if there's any identifiers for what type of van this is. A Chevy. You look around the sides here, you see paint wearing off on the windows here. I'm not sure what opens and what doesn't. That is, I don't know. Does this side door open? All right. All right, that's not opening. Not opening. So we open up the passenger side door right now. When you take a look inside, there's actually still pieces of trash in here. Uh, empty Pepsi can, a uh, empty Reese's wrapper. You have the seat belt from what appears to be a GM. So I'm assuming that this at one point had GM elements in it, though it kind of looks like a Chevy there off of the dash. I mean, this is disgusting. It's nasty in here. You can tell it's been sitting a long time, cobwebs all over the place. It's just kind of eerie. It stands out because, I don't know, I think Bryn said it best is when you look in here, there's this energy. It's hard to explain, but you could tell that, I don't know, something bad happened. It weighs on your soul a little bit. Not gonna lie. So. The van in itself is, is already mischievous. It's yeah, I mean, it, it really is. It's, the, fact of it being the van is a character in its own right mm -hmm. in the story of Erica Baker. Let's take a walk around back here. You see this door. It doesn't even open anymore. You try to get it open, and unfortunately, due to wear and tear, there's no way of getting that open without a crowbar. The spoiler back here, no windows on the back, just a couple of vents. Uh, it doesn't look like the license plate's still on here, but just a lot of chipping paint. You could tell this is kind of the old color. Brendan's scared of the vehicle. I'm scared to touch it. But bad shape, but it's pretty amazing that they still have this here after 23 years.